Hi, today we're going to talk for just a moment. Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome to Thoughts from the Bookcase, formerly known as Thoughts from the Porch. Um, we're still working that out. Anyway, so we're going to talk today about what I call COVID pricing. Um, I understand that restaurants have to raise their prices. No, I don't understand. You don't have to raise your prices. We understand that things are tough. We'll take care of the waiter. You don't need to raise your prices. Some of them are raising their prices through the roof. I have uh, a number of restaurants that I was a regular at, which I won't be going back to, because I'm not paying 16 bucks for a cheeseburger. Sorry. If anybody knows a cheeseburger worth 16 bucks, put it in the down here in a comment. Put it in a comment because I can't. I have yet to find a cheeseburger worth 16 bucks. Um. So, so there's a lot of uh, a lot a lot of other businesses doing COVID pricing. Uh, the Mexican restaurant in my neighborhood, where I used to eat all the time, done. They upcharge on the top. They upcharge on top. They upcharge. I can cook as well as they can and as good as they can. Why am I going to pay for the upcharges? Um, but here's a weird one: Northeastern Illinois University, where some of you might know, I pursue my master's degree. Uh, they have a uh, what they're calling the student union fee, which comes out to about um, three hundred bucks a class. But here's the thing: you can't get the student union. All the classes are either asynchronous, which means yeah, whenever, or they're online, which means you got to zoom, right? So there's no time that I'm going to be on the campus, but I have to pay three hundred dollars per class. For student union fee, COVID pricing. It's becoming the norm. Fast food restaurants are raising their prices. Shitty little corner bars are raising, everybody's raising their prices. Nobody's remembering that so many people lost their jobs. They're out of work. They lost their incomes. I left the tourism industry. And I saw so many people in the tourism industry taking a dive because they didn't have any income. And rather than let people kind of get back and get it together, restaurants and stores, they're, 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 they're raising the prices. It doesn't make sense. So um, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with grad school. Because uh, I got, you know, uh, nine more hours to graduate, which uh, which is going to come out to another $1,000 worth of fees for something I don't have access to, COVID pricing. Uh, I lost my business th due to the COVID. That's fine. Um, I lost thousands in income due to COVID. I'll get over it. I have... Um, a little bit of ambition, a little bit of luck, and I have the good Lord carrying me through. I will always, always survive. The good Lord is never going to let me down. But COVID pricing is never going to be right. Taking advantage of people because they're locked in is never going to be right. Overcharging people, never going to be right. There's an idea that we're going to get back to normal. It's bullshit. Normal means the average Joe, the average working stiff, is going to get screwed. And not the good way. So keep your eyes open. Keep your mind open. Watch out for COVID pricing. But most importantly, remember this one fact. You're beautiful. You are beautiful.